Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be referred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only, future results not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. Okay, so we are looking at the dollar chart, and we can see the consolidation period that we've been in here, and we're coming right back down to the low of this region here, uh, 0.7, 76.5 is kind of what we're watching. Um, so we'll see what, what uh, as we said before, what's going to be a catalyst to get us either to go back and retest the top of this channel, here's our 500 moving average, or to come down, to test that support area, test the 200, and maybe even test the lows. What's going to be a catalyst? Right now we're bunching up, so we'll see and consolidating, so we'll see where this goes. As far as gold, We can see gold put in uh, sort of a rising three pattern coming on here, and, and, and certainly is, is continuing to look strong. We're getting above the 1780, which was the price level in here, um, and you can kind of see that we're basing there um, our, our new rising three pattern. Um, and then, it, you know, so if we get above here, which we have, you know, next you guys start looking at some of these wicks here. Uh, which is around 1820, and then of course we have 1900 to go from there. So uh, it's going to be interesting. We can see our point of control here on a one-hour time frame at 1754, and where we start to lighten up here is 1770-ish, and then that uh, that's why you see this move higher because we got into that light volume area, and now we'll see if 1795 uh, will hold us. Now it looks like we've already kind of come back down into that here at 1791. Finally we'll look at crude oil. And we can see that it's uh it's it's just making a very nice run from 76 now. So about a 20 point run there on crude oil. And yes we can see that it has to pump. And I'm zooming back out just to kind of give you a gauge of where we are here in the longer term frame. And so the next stop it's probably going to be $100. Uh, $100 was the uh, point of control for a long while, especially if we take the time to zoom on over. You'll kind of see for a month or so, we sat right here in this 100 range, and that's basically where we are headed now. As always, we're starting off with the euro dollar. And the thing is, as we saw, uh, the dollar consolidating gold taking off so strong gold weak dollar strong crude oil and we can see the euro dollar kind of um, basing here in a range 1.38 down to 1.36 and then we have our uptrend we're watching and it's certainly being honored for right now so we'll see if we can get above where we are right now and retest this 1.388 uh, but more importantly where will we be get out of this range and you can come up here to one of the time frame and just look at this chiffiness look at it really just showing you that even though we have some snaking and some euro and a, and a dollar taking control they're snaking each other and thus we have a bunch of sideways price action um, we can see that the the euro trending up just a little bit but overall going sideways with a little blip higher right here same thing with the dollar moved up but really we have this blip and now we're going sideways we did have some overbought uh, indication here, but overall you can see we're staying here in the neutral zone. For the pound dollar, we still see the range we're in here, 
1.525 and 1.67. And again, where's the breakout? Where's the breakout? Um, we are seeing a little move up here on the one hour time frame. And we can see uh, the snaking also of the dollar and the pound. And almost identical here on who's in control in, in, the, in their, their, their pair. But uh, right now the dollar says it wants to be in control. But overall we're snaking and we're seeing that as our uh, move. And even when the dollar took control, we actually see price moving higher. So that that's certainly interesting. But overall, we are uh, in a sell zone um, while we're in, within a range. And I forgot to mention here on the euro that here we're in a neutral zone. All right, finishing off with the uh, dollar franc. And you can see we came down, tested 200 moving hours, tested our base here. We came out farm resistance at 0.89, came down, found some support. And now, not only have we broken it, we've tested it again. So, um, what we have to watch is 0.9. If we can close above 0.9, we may retest the swing high here. Right now, we are uh, above our long term average in a sell zone. The franc is in control, which is bringing price down. Um, but you can see the franc kind of took a dip down here, where the dollar just took a little mini dip. A lot of snaking, as we've been talking about. But. When the dollar took control here, we did, were able to get a move up here. So we had a quick little divergence. Um, and then now, once we started getting the psych snaking, price leveled off. And then now that the franc is in control, price has come back down. As we come to today's watch list, we're starting off with our low volatility watch list, which is our one hour time frame using Bollinger Bands. Watching the high and low of the bands after we see our consolidation, and we'll be watching the euro yen and the pound yen. Our inside bar watches is taking today's range, Tuesday, and comparing it with Monday, and watching for a break from firmly in the direction of the trend. And there we have the Aussie dollar and the euro yen. As we continue on with our education spotlight, and you know, we talk about this all the time, one of the most overlooked aspects of developing your training plan. Uh, your philosophy, how you can see the paradigm for who you are going to be as a trader, is paper trading. And if you know virtual trading, sim trading, whatever you want to call it, taking the time. Now, don't get me wrong. There's still a big difference between paper trading and trading for real. But getting an understanding, um, you know, Lou Holtz talks about pressure is uh, coming across something that you haven't practiced. Well, if you practice uh, looking for your chart patterns and be able to identify them, um, you'll be able to see them when it comes to real money. Now the execution is different when it comes to real money. What what you got filled on in paper is probably not going to be the same in real life. But in order to form your philosophy of trading, you have to practice it and really to determine what works and what doesn't work and who you are as a trader. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on Facebook, Are You Financially Literate? We have our free five video course on high probability trading. We help you frame the market and let you see what should be a part of your paradigm. We hope that it will give you insight to who we are as coaches and how we can help you one-on-one -on -one develop a personalized trading plan. If you're trading Forex, why not get paid to trade? It doesn't change your spread to your trading conditions. It's just rebates for your trading. And of course, if you're looking for signals, we have some providers to do that, of course. Make sure they match up with your paradigm. Get the signal to trading for yourself or um, have the signals automatically traded for you. In the end, it doesn't make a difference about your system, your indicator. It matters who you are as a trader and whether or not you practice it so that you can feel confident and pull the trigger in real life. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.